Hey guys, welcome to Satisfactory. Yep, I, Eddie Man, I got an alpha key. Uh, I created, a, I created a, a content creator alpha key. I'm super stoked about this game. Um, so let's, without further ado, let's jump right into it. I already went ahead and played around with the options here. Um, I know the volume is, oh see it didn't save anything. It didn't say anything. Right. Ow. I've already went ahead and tweaked all these settings and it didn't save. Is it something that you have to do every after every time you exit the game? I hope not. Um uh, let's put the music to 70. Um Hopefully that won't be an issue. Effects, let's also put that to 70. Uh, dialogue volume, uh, that's probably gonna go to 70. See that music still, let's jump that to 60 here, shall we? That's still kind of loud. Apply. Confirm. Yeah, we might want to let the devs know that uh, these settings don't apply after you exit the game. Okay. Um, options. Let's go to video. Everyone, as I've seen, is putting this V-Sync on. Uh, so let's check that. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the new game. Uh, grass field. Oh, this area is locked in alpha. Same as this area. Okay. EMP. Session type private, of course. Let's stop the game. So yeah, this is going to be uh, my first impression video. Um, so we'll just jump into it and check it out. I uh, thought I missed the um, the chance of joining the alpha, and um, actually, CAG uh, sent me the information for the uh, content creator. Okay. Video is a summary of your impending duties as an exoplanetary pioneer for Fixit Incorporated. Fixit Pioneer. Fixit Incorporated. Assigned pillars of work to ultimately accomplish project assembly. Project assembly. These provided blueprints to build the necessary buildings. Okay. Chart the planet and gather resources to provide desired results and improve your infrastructure. Make sure to report any unusual Fair discoveries enough. to R and D for analysis. Okay. Expand your factories, outposts, and pipelines through automation and augmentation. Augmentation. Okay, that's a new word. That's it. Well, Planet no, not I know the word, but it's new for me for gaming. Warning: Planetfall imminent. Please remain seated during full procedure. Atmospheric okay. entry in five. Oh, we're in space. Got it. Okay. So anyway, as we descend onto the planet, uh, CAG sent uh, me and Nexus the information to um, join the creator's uh, content creator, Alfred. And that was a couple days ago, and I didn't get any response back from uh, Coffee Stain. Um, so just yesterday, we went ahead and resubmitted my form and I was so super stoked when I saw the key uh, be emailed to me <laughs> um, unfortunately I didn't have a lot of time today to play so I am a little behind schedule in getting recordings in but um, yeah super super stoked about this okay complete 
purpose exploration suit is at 100%. Remember, efficiency first. Godspeed. Efficiency first. Godspeed. Okay, check the, check the equipment, and we are off. All right, look at this. Welcome to Planet Massage Two A B B, your designated sector in the binary star system of Akicha. I am Akicha. Nina, also known as Artificial Directory and Assistant, tasked to support pioneers such as you in their mission. You are the third of your sector to survive oh, hello. the Hello. Congratulations. Note: Objective-based introduction initialized. Welcome to onboarding. Welcome to onboarding. Okay. First objective. Please dismantle the drop pod. The resulting materials will be repurposed to construct a habitat and utility base from now on referred to as the hub. Note, fix it incorporated as cost effective and efficient. We do not waste. So this little thing. Why, hello there. Anyway, this little thing is going to turn into a hub. Oh, okay. Interesting. Um, dismantle drop pod. Press F to enter dismantle mode. Okay. Uh, hold L M B to dismantle. Left mouse button. Gotcha. All right. Goodbye, pod. Second objective. Please ensure you have your fixit incorporated Xeno Zapper equipped before leaving the drop zone. Note, according to fixit regulations, every pioneer should have access to a means of defense against extraterrestrial threats. Tab to open inventory. Hello, inventory. Okay. Hub parts. The parts required to build the basic structure of the hub. Okay. Uh, character. Um, I guess that's your suit. And I guess this is uh, equipped for your hand. Okay. Um, interesting. Oh, Xeno Zapper. Okay, this is the Xeno Zapper here. Um, how do we... We can we click? Oh, we can click. Okay, click and drag over to here. Ah, excellent, excellent. Okay, that's the Xeno Zapper. Please familiarize yourself with the resource scanner to find iron. Note: the acquisition of iron is considered essential in preparation for all future objectives. Uh, for the scanner. Hello, son. Look at this environment. Graphic settings. This is awesome. Look, sand and stunning. Very stunning graphics. Okay, so we need to look for iron. Well, here's some rocks over here. Let's. Can we. Hello? Uh, the flower. Okay. Uh, space bar to jump. Okay. Space bar. Oh, press E to pick up leaves. Okay. Initial scans reveal coloring properties in the flower petals. Further analysis required. Color properties in the petals. Okay. Uh, so far, we haven't seen any action yet or anything. Um, I don't think I need to stay in my initial landing zone. Oh. There we go. So, F to toggle between the okay 
Um, might as well pick these up while we're here. Okay. Hello. Oh, a pale berry? Press E to pick up the pale berry. This oh. consumable possesses minor healing properties. Further analysis required to establish object scanner identification. Well, I guess there's going to be plenty of leaves to pick up. So maybe I shouldn't pick that many up. Um, press C to scan for resources. Oh. Okay. We have resources 228 meters that way and resources 387 meters that way. Okay, and then we have 287 that way. Hmm. Well, there's two deposits that way. Let's go very carefully. Let's go this way. Oh, he just disappeared. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is far. Hmm, okay. to take them out. There's two of them. Whoa. Yeah. Got you. E. Take up that corpse. Studying the remains of this creature might shed light on how to defend yourself in the future. I recommend analysis. Uh, we will be analyzing that. Analyzing that. All right. Look at this. Press E to pick up iron ore. We have to hold iron ore. Okay. Fourth objective. Build the hub. Note, to complete this objective, the resources salvaged from the drop pod will be consumed. Caution, ensure the hub is built on spacious open terrain close to the presence of iron sources. Failure to do so will likely result in non-optimal progress. Non-optical progress. You can find buildings in the build menu by pressing Q. Okay. Um, this is S. Why does it look weird? But okay, it's iron. Okay, is this two iron here? Or is this considered one big patch? Okay. I like that and then look this iron that way and we have this nice space here you know what I think I found my starting hub. Okay. Oh, 
That's another one of those. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's go ahead and build that hub, right? Let's build it right here. Q. The hub. Whoa, this thing is big. Okay. This thing is big. Congratulations. You have unlocked hub feature manual craft bench. Hub feature hub terminal. Fifth objective hub upgrade storage and power. Note the craft bench and hub terminal are essential for progression to the next objective. Okay, I'm gonna have to jump on there every single time. Okay. Press E to configure craft bench. First, let's, before we do that, let's look around. Okay. Interesting. This thing is pretty big. The landscape. Just, just have to take a moment just to soak it in. Wow. Just amazing. <laughs> okay. Back to work. Back to work, people. What are we sitting here standing around for? Press E to configure craft bench. Iron ingot, iron plate, and iron rods. Okay. Um... Well, we can craft. Okay, let's do there we go. We have 14. Oh, let's just go to 20 in that. Okay, we're going to make some plates. And then we want to make some iron rods. I have to sit there and craft all that? No. That is not happening. That's not happening. <laughs> oh. I broke it. <clears throat> All right, so we have ten and ten. I don't even know what I need to build. What do I need? Oh, hello. Press E to confirm hub terminal. Oh, select milestone. Tier zero. Hub upgrade one. Okay. Oh. Craft bench. Equipment bench. Smelter. Okay. Power line. Portable miner. Xeno Zapper, I can actually make one if I lose my other copper ingot. There it is. Copper cable. Cable. Use for crafting. Primary use to build power lines and 
scanner update copper ore. Okay, milestone cost. Hello. Congratulations. You have unlocked hub feature biomass generator. Hub feature personal storage. Scanner feature copper. New equipment buildings and blueprints, which can be found in the workshop when built, build menu, and craft bench respectively. Oh, uh, it's like a storage. Okay. Hub upgrade construction. No. Connect buildings to a generator for power. Note, buildings such as the smelter require a blueprint to be set. Require a blueprint to be set. Automate the smelting process and use portable miners for optimal results. Automate the, uh, okay. Yes, we wanna, we need to automate the, uh, that was just a lot of information at once. Okay, hold C to switch what resource to scan for. Oh. The copper over there is not that far away compared to those two. Okay. Okay. Build an equipment workshop where you can craft equipment like the portable miner. Equip portable miner to place it on a resource node. Build smelters to automate production of ingots. Use biomass burner for power supplies. Okay. Um, what I've seen in other videos, this is the biomass burner. Okay. Yeah. Uh, recipient's name, our name should be there, but okay. Uh, no connection. Input. Standby. How do we use that? How long this part takes to craft? No connection. Okay. Um. Do I need to make cables? Ah, uh, hello. Can't afford recipe. Uh, wire, use for crafting. One of basic parts. Copper ingot. Oh, I'm gonna have to go get copper to get power to work. That makes sense. Okay. Get up there. Do we just walk up there? Nope, we cannot. It's too steep of an incline, which means I'm gonna have to find another way up there. Oh, I keep pressing the block button. Okay. I think I found a way up the cliff. Okay. Um, is that copper over there? Yep, that is.
Oh boy. <laughs> oh, anyway, okay, so that caught me off guard just a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit. Uh, we'll get some copper here now. Just look how the graphics change when I peg into this. Just awesome. Did you guys hear that? There's one down there. Okay. Um. I think that's my base down there. Yep, it is, okay. All right, so we got some ingots here we can make. Okay. What do we need for cables? Do we need the cables? Escape to coves. Um, use biomass burner for power supplies. Was it really that simple? <laughs> okay. I guess it was that simple. Okay. Um, iron plates, iron rods. I don't have any iron rods. So let's make some iron rods. Okay. I want to make a portable smelter. But Q. 
That's a smelter. Okay, not a portal smelter. I made a miner. The craft bench. Is that what? Is that what this is? This is a craft bench. Why would I need to make another craft bench? I don't. these invalid aim location oh how do you rotate it uh, hold control to snap the guidelines Rotate hologram and scroll. Ah, okay. Got that. <laughs> um, you know what? Let's put a There we go. I think at least, does that need power? No. Okay. Press E to configure w equipment workshop. Select recipe in the list on the, on the left. Okay, portable miner. So we need plates wire and cable perfect okay Do we need to make like gun turrets or anything I don't think so so, f so far, my impressions of this game is relatively cool. Um, the controls are somewhat finicky. Um, maybe I'm just not used to this type of gameplay. Uh, but it's, well, I mean, I'm used to the factory gameplay, but this is a, there's a whole new spin on, um, you know, building a factory up. Very interesting though. Keep hearing the sounds of. I mean, this vantage point here, this view is just. Like how far out you can see. That's just amazing. Okay. Enough <laughs> with that again. I have my portable miner. Uh, let's see if we can use this thing. Portable minus slot hands can be set up on a resource node to automatically extract the resource. Very limited storage space. Oh, it has to go on hand. Okay. OK. 
Okay. How do we deploy it? E? No. X is email, oh, codex, okay. Uh, T is chat. P is photo view. Um, I don't know how to. Oh, there we go. The little icon changed. Oh. Melter. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to figure out how to get my Xenomap thing back. Oh, I have to put it back in my hand. Okay. That's kind of confusing, but okay. I don't need any other, well, I do need some more wire. Um, so let's go ahead then and just make some more of those. And then we can make some more of this. Okay. Pick up my okay. I see. So then, can we make two of these then? Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So then, this is just storage. To store stuff. So like this stuff here, right? Okay. Crafting bench, that's weird. That's like a little box thingy. Okay. What else can I do here? What else can I get? E. Uh, Hub upgrade two milestone. We need ten iron plates, ten iron rod, and fifty wires. Concrete biomass power pole constructor. Two inventory slots, screws, reinforced iron plates, and scanner update for limestone. Okay. <coughs>
Sorry, guys. <clears throat> Just getting a little stretch in there. I uh, worked out a little bit in the gym before, and I'm starting to tense up. So, <clears throat> okay. So, I think... My goal for this first impression is just to get to, I guess, hub two, right? So we want to get the 10 iron plates, the 10 iron rods, and the 50 wires, which is here. All right, so let's make. I think it was 10 of these, right? Oops. Um, why are we want 50 of these? Okay. And then we need 10 of these. Okay. Um, wait, hub upgrade two milestone has been completed, so let's select that and let's put the 10 of those in there and the 10 of these in here and those. Oh, we got some more walls here. Congratulations. You have unlocked scanner, stone, new buildings, and blueprints, which can be found in the build menu and craft bench, respectively. Oh, it's Second like... Objective, hub upgrade, conveyor belt. No. Use power poles to expand the power network for optimal results. No. Constructors are capable of constructing copious parts, of which only one type at a time. Thank you, Ada. Caution. Area under construction. Uh, you think? <laughs> uh, this is like a sh uh, like a turning into like a room now. Okay. Oh, this might be like a uh, place we're gonna house the aliens, maybe. Ooh, who knows? Who knows? Right. Interesting. Um, how is this coming along here? Is this good? Oh yeah, this is good. This is more than good, right? <laughs> All right, so this is probably full. Just about. Okay. <clears throat> Collecting that iron. Let's see what else. Can we do anything else here now? A uh, portable miner and a Xeno Zapper. That's it. Okay, um, oh, constructor is new. Okay, smelter, power, power poles, power lines, and special is another hub. Oh, I see what it's going after. It's going to build this, whatever this thing is. Interesting. Okay, can we build a smelter? Missing iron rods and eight cable or uh, eight wire. Okay. Oh. How 
watches. Five rods and eight wire. Okay. Okay. I think it was just five of these I needed. And then wire. Okay. <clears throat> I think I could build the smelter now. And the first smelter I'm going to put. Um, does it need power? It probably needs power. Okay, so let's go over here then. Put that right here. Input, output, okay. Our cable. Interesting. Okay, now this is actually using power now. Okay, the smelter is using power. No, it says it's red. Why is it red still? Configure. <coughs> Iron ore. Ah, uh, okay, thirty per minute. Okay, and I think these are the belts that are gonna that would come out, right? Conveyor belts, which we don't have access to yet. Concrete screws, reinforced iron plate. We cannot make. Conveyor pole, conveyor belt, here it is. Hmm. <clears throat> All right, I'm not going to go to level three on the first impression here. I just wanted to get the gist of satisfactory. And for what I see, this game has a lot of potential. I'm very exciting. I'm so glad that I was able to get on board with the alpha here the closed alpha for this weekend um yeah so we went ahead and got our hub um we got our hub up to level two we got our um equipment workshop for money for the portable miner which is right over here which is actually off because it's probably full 
And that slots right back up. Look at that. That's awesome. Oh, and that's why I picked that up since we're here. Same thing with that and that. Okay. So we're going to E and then we can select this and throw some more iron ore into the smelter. But there's got to be a way to automate this to make it smooth, right? From it mining the iron to putting it on a ball, on a conveyor belt, and bringing it into the smelter. <clears throat> now, ideally, that's what we would want to do. Um, if we wanted to move this, could we? Uh, we could put it on standby. No, we can't. We could change the recipe. But we couldn't move. Once the building is placed, we can't move the building. Hmm. Would have been nice if we sort of knew that, right? Can we climb up there? Oh, you can. That's super cool. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that is awesome. Okay. So let's just jump down. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up here. Um, so my, my again, my impression is fantastic game. The devs, you did a phenomenal job at this. I mean, come on, look at this. Look at this view. I mean, it's not about the view. But, yes, it is. What are we joking, right? <laughs> what are we joking? It is about the view. Uh, it's amazing. Amazing. So, <clears throat> so, yeah, the graphics for the buildings are very, very, very unique. And very, I'm just very impressed. Um, and the interaction with the buildings and the way the GUI comes up, I mean, it's just very easy to learn and navigate the menus. Um, first, it, it did, didn't did dawn on me that you can click and drag things around, uh, but I caught on very, very easily with that. And obviously, I like to take with the orange highlighted below and how things could mix, like you can you can split items up or you can well once they're once they're stacked you can't unstack them but and there's a sort button down here that's just just awesome <laughs> I know I keep saying awesome awesome sauce right <laughs> um, I wonder if the equipment workshop has more than just two items that you can make um, yeah, uh, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is, um, cause it's really late now. I'm gonna go ahead, go go ahead and get some rest. Um, wake up in the morning, and I'm gonna jump in here and do um, like a further in you know, depth in um, the layers of the hub and see where that takes us. I think, for what I see here. Um, complete the hub, complete the hub, and complete space elevator phase one. Uh, unfortunately, we are not able to go past that for um, this alpha, but I mean, there's a lot to still do, and I want to see if I can get all of it covered. I'm just super stoked about where this is going. Um, I was kind of bummed about the game at first, being first person, but... You know what? I, I was being a bum thinking that. Because, well, look at that all the way up there. How did you get up there? <laughs> Just this view here is awesome as well. They're, they put a lot of time and effort into this game. And it's, 
It definitely shows. Mm. So if you haven't yet, please go ahead and consider throwing me a like for this video. It greatly helps me and the channel out. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, also please don't forget to drop that down in the comment section of the video. Um, and if you want to stay with all things Eddie Man uh, on Satisfactory or on Factorio or any of the other games I'm, I will feature be covering in this channel, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well. But right now, I want to thank you guys so much for joining me in this episode of Satisfactory, our first impressions. Um, please, please let me know what you guys think. Uh, brand new, brand new game. Uh, we've been waiting a long time for this, and the wait has been definitely worth it. Right now, thank you guys so much for joining me in this episode of Satisfactory, and like always, I will see you guys next time. I'll leave you with some awesome shots. Bye now.